Here are three reasons why the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Celebration might be the best Rolex. Hear me out. When I first saw the watch, I thought it was a bit too much, but I completely changed my mind. Before I give you my reasons, let's go over a quick review. Today, we're checking out a watch with a unique design called the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Celebration. It comes in three sizes, 31 millimeter, 36 millimeter, and the one I'm holding, which is 41 millimeter. This watch looks great on different wrist sizes. It features a turquoise dial with pastel colored bubbles. Plus, it has an impressive power reserve of about 70 hours. Also, check out the Easy Link adjustment. With this kind of link, you can easily adjust your bracelet without needing any special watch tools. This is incredibly useful, especially if your wrist size changes frequently due to temperature or if you have a very specific wrist size that's hard to match with standard bracelets. The watch has hour markers outlined in white gold. If you review the dial closely, you'll notice double markers at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock for better readability. Now, this is all you need to know about the specifics of the watch. Let's jump into the three reasons why the watch is so underrated. Starting with reason number one, the story. In 2020, Rolex introduced colorful pastel options for their Oyster Perpetual watches, like Coral Red and Turquoise. These were a big hit, but surprisingly, Rolex discontinued them after two years. Why? Well, Rolex had actually experimented with bold colors before. In the 1970s, they had the Stella dials with vibrant colors, which also got discontinued quickly and became highly sought after by collectors. Now Rolex decided to bring back those vibrant colors in the basic Oyster Perpetual models, and it turned out to be a great move. But it gets even more interesting. The Rolex Celebration dial combines all those bold colors, including candy pink, coral red, turquoise, green, and yellow, into one incredible dial, the ultimate dial. What's even more impressive is the quality control of this dial. It's remarkably free of blemishes or issues, which can be really challenged when making such a colorful dials. Let's look at reason number two, the dial revolution. You see, most Rolex buyers tend to go for classic and conservative designs like white, black, blue, or green dials. The colorful and bold options are seen as more niche. Under watch collectors, Rolex is well known for its traditional design, making them appear somewhat conservative. So when they introduce these unique dials, it caused a major stir in the watch world. The impact of the colored Oyster Perpetual dials on the watch market was huge. The colored dials are really a testament of how influential Rolex can be in shaping the industry. However, this dial also comes with a lot of controversy because some people love the creative design while others think it's a mistake. This debate rages on. So if you're seen wearing this Rolex, people will definitely stare at your wrist. Now let's take a look at the final reason, collectability. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Will this watch be discontinued after a short run? just like the Pastel Oyster Perpetuals? While I don't have inside information, I speculate that in the future, it might become more challenging to find this dial than the colored dial Oyster Perpetuals from 2020. Just picture this, if they make this watch for a year or so, its value could shoot through the roof. With that super fancy dial, I'm pretty sure it'll become a prize collector's item. Let's wrap it up. At first, I didn't like this watch, but seeing this in person changed my perspective. The concept, the history, the appearance of this watch all started to make sense. It's all about finding the watch that really speaks to you, even if it's unconventional. So if you're looking for this Oyster Perpetual Celebration or any other watch, head out to BigMoWatches.com or DM me on Instagram at BigMoWatches.